I always remember as a sort of fairly young guy really at that stage getting on the rugby field and playing against him and if you managed to get a bit of a run in and he tackled you, he talked to you, good run boy, good run, you know, strong boy, you're a strong boy, you know, and uh, if you tackle him, good tackle, Shen, good, 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 strong tackle that and he'd be talking away to you and uh, commentating on the game and for me it was just a great experience to have even sort of played with, uh, you know, on the same field as, as him and uh, he was just a great character and uh, an inspirational character. He worked with me, Peter O'Toole thought the world of him and he was doing a film with me and Peter O'Toole and Peter O'Toole sort of asked him, who are you? He said, uh, well, Ray, he said, away from me, sort of from that. He said, Whoa. And it turned out that Ray Gravel was Peter O'Toole's favourite rugby player. And throughout the whole film, Peter O'Toole wouldn't move without Ray being with him. I mean, he wasn't just working in Wales. I mean, he was working, he was offered jobs all over the world by different people. I mean, people don't know this, people don't know this about Ray, but his acting ability was respected by some very, very big directors like Louis Mal, you know, who he worked with after we worked with Peter O'Toole. And, and other people, it was only, he'd always put Wales first. He said, sorry, I can't come and work with you in Russia. I've got to do this uh, interview down in uh, Pont Lottin. I mean, that was, that was Ray, you know. One of the greatest memories I'll ever have of him is when he played for Wales, stepping out from the actual dressing room into the next room, the showers, the toilet area, spending an hour in the toilet singing Davy the Ewan songs till he drove us nuts, but then putting the jersey on and looking in the mirror and the three feathers there, probably thinking of his father and mother, and he'd look at him, a tear in his eyes, and God, I tell you what, he was ready to go out and do battle for Wales. We were ready to go out against France on this occasion and he turned to this man mountain uh, of a player and hit him in the tunnel. As to say, come on, let's go, what have you? And this Frenchman who couldn't believe this just turned and he went, he's mad, so to speak. It was a sort of impression that Graham on occasions could, could give someone. We won't forget Ray Cavell because he, not because of his rugby, not because of his acting, not because of, because he was a good person. He was a good person good person that's what that's what matters he he, he left his life um, giving more than he brought into it yeah. Can you please raise as we toll the traditional tim bells for a wonderful man and welsh hero ray gravel Neberiod yn fwy o Gymro, ne balchach o gario'i Gymreigdod ar draws y byd. Ond byd rei, oedd mynydd y garreg, yno y cair llenyddwch, ac mae'r golled yn ddwysach fyth wrth ystyried fod un oedd cymaint o ŵr i filltu'r sgwar, wedi marw ar dy restron, mor bell o'r mynydd, mor bell o barc y strade. Ond cyn hir, be fydd na genedl gyfan yn barod, gyda breichau agored a chalon drom, yw groesawu yn ôl i'w gynefyn, nôl gartre i'r mynydd am y tro ola un. There never was a prouder Welshman, none prouder to proclaim his Welshness to the world, but Ray's world was mynydd y garreg, and there's added poignancy, added sadness, that a man who so loved his homeland, should pass away on foreign soil, so far from the mountain, so far from Stradley Park. But Ray can rest assured that when the time comes, a whole nation is ready, with open arms and a grieving heart, to welcome him back home, back to the mountain, just one more time.